Greetings YouTube, Liquid128 here, viewing an upcoming racing game coming to the Nintendo Switch eShop, VSR Void Space Racing. This review has been made possible by the good folks at Sonka, who have provided us with a review copy. So without further ado, let's start our engines and see what this race has to offer. This game is completely devoid of a story mode. All you do is race. That's it. This section might as well have been omitted, honestly. Nothing of value would have been lost at all. VSR is a futuristic racing game. The key idea that VSR sells itself on is the lack of friction. Fittingly, as the tracks, if you can call them that, are all set in space. In that sense, the lack of friction seems like a welcoming new idea at first but we'll get back to that in a moment. Races, regardless of the mode chosen, follow a certain structure. You must continuously pass through checkpoints that create a path for you to follow. Missing checkpoints incurs a penalty, such as an outright failure condition if too many are missed in a single race, or added seconds in a time trial that can ruin an otherwise fast record. It may sound simplistic, and it is, but there's one thing that creates a very steep learning curve for this game the previously mentioned lack of friction. Now, this mechanic is not a bad idea on paper. A space racer with no friction and thus a loosely controlling vehicle sounds like something complicated but otherwise very rewarding when mastered, and the game should be properly designed around it to ease a player who decides to pick it up. VSR is a mixed bag in terms of this design choice, however, and as a result, can be somewhat tricky to play. Now, before further elaboration, it should be stressed that this is not a control issue. The controls on your vehicle are very fine-tuned. Controlling your vessel isn't the problem, it's controlling this vessel in what is effectively a game with perpetual ice physics that's the potential deal breaker. You need mastery of how the lack of friction works against your control to even stand a chance at winning races. The footage you're seeing in this review is my initial attempts at learning the control. I eventually did get the hang of it and it took me less attempts to finish every race in first place, but not everyone is guaranteed to have the same amount of patience for mastering mechanics like this. Ultimately, VSR has a good idea, just one that's executed in a way which is not easy to grasp immediately. If nothing else, the game looks and performs well. Outer space looks like what you'd expect from a futuristic style game and the music goes for a techno style move with a unique track for each racing area, which is fine. One knock against the game's performance though, it's prone to incidental crashing. Granted, this was a rare occurrence that only happened twice in my own playtime, and it only crashed in menus, but it's not exactly a good omen either way when it happens. VSR is sort of a tricky recommendation. Players looking for a different type of racing game or something with a distinct learning curve can fill that niche with VSR, but as a blanket recommendation, it's a harder sell due to the latter. The best thing one can say about VSR is that the core mechanic is not a deliberate anger inducer, can be mastered, and then be a genuinely fun time after the hurdle of learning it is cleared, but it's just that. The steep learning curve in a racer will not appeal to everyone. With that in mind, VSR Void Space Racing gets a 3 out of 5. If you buy this game, let us know what you think of it below. A special thanks to Sonka for making the review possible, and our patrons who keep our site up and running. Make sure to like the video if you want to see more, and subscribe for more news straight from the source. I'm Liquid12A, signing off.